Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in an experimental population of fish the genotype frequencies are 0.4 homozygous dominant, 0.4 heterozygous genotype and 0.2 homozygous recessive genotype. If all homozygous dominant fish are removed from the population what will be the frequency of the dominant allele in the next generation. So imagine here we have first generation and frequencies are as follows. So homozygous dominant genotype frequency is 0.4 and heterozygous genotype frequency is also 0.4 and homozygous recessive uh, genotype frequency equal to 0.2 and as you see if we add all these numbers we are going to get 1 because 1 here represent 100%. So 1 equal to 100%. If we want to operate uh, numbers as percentages in percentage form uh, this is going to be 40%, 40% and 20%. So 40 plus 40 would be 80 plus 20 would be 100. 1 equals to 100%. So this is uh, uh, frequency of the genotypes, what would be frequency of the dominant and recessive allele here. We have to divide this number by half and add half of this number to frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype and half of this number to frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 would give us frequency of the dominant allele 60% and 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 would give us frequency of the recessive allele as uh, 40%. So uh, in this uh, gene pool that is represented by frequencies of three genotypes, frequency of the dominant allele equals to 0.6 or 60% and frequency of the recessive allele equals to 0.4 or 40%. And now we are told that we have to remove this genotype and in the next generation these two genotypes would make a second generation. But the problem is that 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 is not equal to 1. So what should we do? We should uh, divide 1 by 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 and we are going to get index by which we have to multiply these numbers uh, so we have to increase these numbers proportionally so we are going to get 1 and we are going to get here 1.67 so now 0 0.4 multiplied by 1.67 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 1.67 and this would equal to 1. So if we multiply 0 0.4 by 1.67 uh, we are going to get 0 0.668 and if we multiply 0 0.2 by 1.67 we are going to get 0 0.334 and now when we add these two numbers uh, we are going to get an answer that is going to be close to 1 uh, as you see this is not exact uh, 1 because uh, this number 1.67 is rounded number but still pretty close so uh, what this number stands for, as you remember, this number stands for the uh, new frequency of the heterozygous genotype. So in the second uh, generation we are going to have only two genotypes instead of three. So new frequency of the heterozygous would be 0 0.668 and new frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype uh, would equal to 0 0.33. Uh, or 33.4 percent. Now we have to find frequency of the allele 
uh, dominant allele B and recessive allele B. As you remember, in first generation, this is uh, what we had, and now we have, we have to repeat uh, the same calculations. Uh, we have to take half of this number because this genotype is made by two alleles. So half of this number would be recessive allele B. So we have to add uh, to the right side, so 0.334, so plus, and we are going to get new frequency of the recessive allele, that is going to be 0.668, and this is going to be frequency of the recessive allele B. And because we deducted from here 50% or 0 0.334, the frequency of the dominant allele B would be 0 0.334. And because all our answers are given in percentage form, uh, we have to multiply by 100 or move this decimal point two places to the right. And now uh, we are going to get an answer in percentage form. So new frequency of the dominant allele would be 33.4% and new frequency of the recessive allele B uh, would equal to 66.8%. Now let's check uh, our answers and as you see answer B give us 33%. This would be a close approximation to what we got here. So this is going to be our answer today. I hope my uh, explanation were clear enough. Now you would be able to solve analogous problems. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. So share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.